What's going on? I'm Christopher St. Germain, and in this video, I thought that we would go a little bit further into customizing your product page. So here we are on our product page. This is our storefront, and we're going to call this a t-shirt shop, okay? So we're going to go in here. We're going to put in some demo images. We're going to replace the demo images with some shirts that we've created. So we'll put our product photos in here. And this is as easy as it looks. Like I'm just clicking here where it says demo image. And then over here where the image file is held, I'm going to click on that. And right here, I'm going to double click on that image. And one more time, we've got a fourth item in here. How about this one? There we go. Now we have four new images lined up in our t-shirt shop. We can change the title. If we don't like how large the heading is, we can go into settings, just adjust the slider until we've got it. Bam. Right about there. All right. And this is, whoop. Change the title. Uh, if I know how to spell Isaiah, I'm not sure that's right. Is it going to tell me? Oh, look at that. It even gives me the spell check. Isaiah 53 glorify T. Let's go into settings. Let's drag that header down until it fits just right. Bam. All right, and then change the title here. I mean, you can name it anything you want, obviously. I'm just showing you how easy it is to customize each section. These are all shirts that I've designed for my different businesses. There we go. And of course, you can come down here to the paragraph and put, you know, made in America, all cotton, whatever you want to put in there. And I mean, it's as easy as that. That's all it takes to change your storefront out. You can save it and exit. And you've got your new page all set up. It'll give you a preview right here. And you can set it up with products like I showed you in the other video that it, that are tied in with your Shopify account. And you might see this little red dot here says finish setting up all funnels to use step funnel steps to use the funnel. All you got to do is go down here and you'll see that there's other steps that have been automatically created because we created some products and it's giving us thank you pages for those products. So we can go in and choose to use a thank you page. It'll bring it up automatically here and you can go to thank you. Thank you pages. Uh, you might want to add a disclaimer. So that's my that's my disclaimer page. And what you can do with that is you can copy the link right there. Go back into your your opt-in page. Down here at the bottom where you've got your copyright information, you can just put disclaimer in there, highlight that, create a link, and in the link box, you just paste that page. You want it to open in a new window, then you click right there and save. Now when somebody comes to look at our page, 
they can see our products and they can open up that disclaimer page just by clicking on that link. So that's it. That's all it takes to create and customize your storefront shop in ClickFunnels.